All right, so today we're going to make custom icons for Network Atlas. Now, there are two ways to get custom icons into my maps. There's the copy and paste method, which is sort of the quick and dirty way to do it. It doesn't lend itself to a very nice presentation. Or we could make our own images and then bring those into Network Atlas as, as custom graphics. So we're going to go through both processes so we can kind of see how they're done. Now, for the custom objects, we'll need to create a... Uh, a graphic, whether that's GIF or WMF format, both of those are supported in Network Atlas. And we can have the name of the object and any status that we want to provide some special graphic for. So robot-up, robot-down, warning, etc. Once we've created the images, which I've already done, we're going to take those and move them onto our Orion server. They're going to go into Program Files x86, SolarWinds Orion, Network Atlas, Maps and Maps Web, and then in the Net Objects folder. One of the nice things about doing it this way is with the copy and paste method, it throws everything that we uh, paste into Network Atlas into one basic directory. If we're doing it this way, it allows us to create some uh, sort of organization with the way we're implementing these custom graphics into the system. So let's go take a peek and see what I have on the Orion server. So I originally was hoping that we could use animated GIFs, but unfortunately what I found out is they don't translate into uh, Network Atlas very well. Or we're not able to see them through the web console. So there is the robot image. Let's just do the copy and paste method first. So let's grab this image. So we found it off the web through a, a Google or Bing search. Let's bring this into Network Atlas and let's just paste that image here. So we'll call it Robbie1. So there's the image that I made through Network Atlas. We can also open it in Paint, which I think gives it a little bit different appearance. Let's just make this one Robbie 2. Let's assign both of these guys an object. Let's pick one of my lab nodes, and we'll do the same for him. And so there are my copy-paste graphics. It's fine if we have a wider black background, uh, but if we really want to present the background so that it looks nice, we're going to have to go the custom route. So let's go ahead and save that and get it out of the way. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and get into the directory where we have our maps and maps web. I'm going to create a new folder, and we'll just call this one robots. That's where my robot icons are going to go. So then we're going to go back and take the images that I made. We'll copy them into my new directory. So there they go. And now let me grab my robots directory from maps and let's move it into maps web. Okay. So now when we go back into Network Atlas, let's grab a new object and let's just change the properties on that. So let's modify the appearance. We're going to go to graphics and let's select my new graphic. So there's my new directory that we just created with robots. We'll select the robot icon and there we go. So you can choose your status indicator to your preference, although when we do these ourselves, tricolor is nice. Um, so I've built in a warning and a down symbol for the object itself. I didn't provide an unknown, unmanaged, or external, um, but there are some default status indicators for that, uh, for those objects here. So now if I click OK, there is my very nice looking robot object. We're just going to add some more of these because our objects are invading Australia, Papua New Guinea, and New Zealand. So let's go ahead and save that and see what it looks like in the web console. I'm going back to my web console page, let's just refresh this guy to get an updated image. And there we go. So the custom objects look really nice and clean. They don't interfere with the background. They look much better than the copy-paste method. It's a little bit more labor-intensive, but it does definitely provide a much better presentation.